imagination. A word so simple, yet so complex. A word with many meanings and interpretations, we simply cannot define it within a few words. However, what people seem to forget is, though imagination cannot be limited, how we use it and when can be. We ask ourselves, why do I imagine that I'll receive good grades at the end of the year? Why do I imagine that I will be successful? The, why wouldn't you? You have a passion, a vision, but something is stopping it. A barrier that is becoming harder and harder to cross as every day creeps into another. There's a path you must take, a path which is ever so dangerous, but is never ending. It's going to be lined with hope and pain, guilt, happiness, joy and sadness. It's a momentous journey, the journey of life. It is important to find that imagination is not what we think, and it's not how we think. There are no limitations or barriers of access within our imagination. We just used to have to utilize it within a positive way, a way of which works for you. If you believe, you will succeed. But by using your thoughts and dreams driven by one thing, your imagination, you will be successful. So often we are quick to say, I know I have a bad imagination. But to this I say, do you have a vision? Or is it just a thinking point at the back of your mind? These visions or thoughts are our own imagination, paving the way for us. Place yourself in this all too familiar situation. Our teachers or mentors tell us to write an essay. The topic this time, well, it's imagination. We may sit in the room and think about all the concepts within the world, yet you're the individual sitting there, pen twirling in your hands as your mind has hit a sudden halt. We, we begin to question, what defines our imagination? We all have different minds, different concepts, and there's an unlimited amount of intelligence. But one thing we all share is an imagination. Yes, our imaginations may vary, but within this lies our creativity. Both intelligence and imagination are complementary within one another. You don't need to be the most intelligent person in the world to dig deep within your imagination, or you don't need to tell yourself that any idea or concept is too imaginative or too ambitious. Let me tell you the story of Chesney Snow. Chesney became homeless when he moved to Arizona, making money through his ultimate passion of beatboxing and writing poetry. Whilst only in his early 20s, he wrote poetry while sleeping rough in the streets. He soon went on to produce a Broadway show called The Unwritten Law, incorporating his life story and his passion, beatboxing. Chesney's story shines a light onto anyone's situation. Your imagination is never too small or ever too big. It is tailor-made and in within your control. Snow never gave up. His motivation and imagination were never too big to achieve his dream. I've always been deemed as a creative kid. But what exactly does this mean? Am I creative? Or is this how I'm told that my dreams are too big to make a reality? I used to imagine that I'd be an actress, standing on the stage with the light blinding my eyes and the noise of cheers almost deafening. <coughs> I was always told that this dream was, well, a little too big. If I was listening to this advice, I am therefore limiting myself to meet the societal norms, trying to fit in when ultimately, the thing is, we are all different. We all have dreams, and these can certainly become a re our reality. No dream is too big, only for the small-minded, for those who are stuck within the stickiness of, our insecu of insecurity. We all have different wants within our lives, made your dream career to have ultimate success, or having a family, or even traveling the world. Whatever your dream, happiness and contentment are of the utmost importance. Without our goals and imagination, there would be no goals but with your goals must be subsided with a plan. Without a plan, you may fail. Life is all about the stepping stones. You learn and learn each day. At the end of the day, we're human. We all make mistakes. You must push through those mistakes. Goals in hand to crawl to the top of the seemingly huge mountain to prove to everyone that you can get there and you can achieve. Goals are proven to succeed. 
but only with hard work and having an ultimate result at the end. To begin, you have to tap into your creative thinking. Use your imagination to dig deep within. And finally, put pen to paper to ensure that your dream of ultimate success is possible. A survey conducted by psychology professor Dr. Gail Matthews resulted to 76% of individuals of whom wrote down their goals and actions to carry out those goals achieved them. This is a huge statistic that what society calls our vague ideas, we can actually achieve them. The result is that without our dreams and relying on society's critical opinions, we will limit ourselves to what we want to achieve. There is a quote that I will always treasure as valuable. It is by no other Albert Einstein. He said, a person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. He is, of course, correct. By limiting ourselves, we never get to take the risks or create these in-life experiences and lose the opportunity to properly mould a successful lifestyle. Einstein has proven time and time again that with hard work, dedication and passion, this success is a result of our imagination, being the force that makes the clogs work and the missing piece of the jigsaw. Lastly, talking on a personal level, I'm ultimately inspired by my mother. She has always inspired, she has always been the springboard of my motivation to succeed, has inspired me to imagine and achieve any future, creation, future career aspirations I may have. She's always regretted not achieving her dream of a career in nursing. She's always regretted not pushing herself further, using her ultimate imagination and personal goals to achieve. Schools are much better equipped to allow you, as a pupil, to achieve your goal. Utilize, utilize this advice, take it to the next level, and you are sure to achieve. Without my parents' continued support, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. I always stated that at a young age, I wanted to pursue something in life that would help people, make people see that there is hope and possibility within every dark corner you may face. I, was, I will always be ever so grateful for my family's continued support, the core and the process point of my imagination. My ultimate statement to everyone today is to use your imagination and use our goals. Have hope and your dream reality will soon come to you. Don't let anyone limit your ultimate success. Use your imagination day to day and be the ultimate proof to everyone within the society that with an imagination, there will be dreams. With dreams, there will be goals. With goals, there will be hope. Thank you.